This is 5.4, number 21. So they give us a function and they ask us to graph or find the area function from two to X for this function. So basically they want us to find this antiderivative, which is the net area called the area function. So how do you find, oh, respect to T. So we put a DT. What's the antiderivative of that? The rule is you add one to the exponent and divide by that. So that's gonna give me three T squared over two. And the derivative of what is one? That's just gonna be T. Whoa, that's the wrong thing. Plus T, and I'm going from two to X. All right, well, next step, fundamental theorem, plug in X for all my T's. So I'm gonna get three X squared over two plus X. And then I plug in two and I subtract that. So plug in two here and here. I'm gonna get three times two squared over two plus two. And now I just simplify everything. One of these twos will cancel with one of those leaving me six, six plus two is eight. And I have my answer. That is the area function. All right, what's it ask for next? Find and graph the area function. So we'd have to graph this. That part, we would have to, for me, plug points or do it on a graphing calculator. Let me see if this is a graphing calculator question. I see not a calculator next to it, so we'll just plot points. I'll plug in values. I'll make a table of values, not too large. X and A of X. I'll do zero, one, and two, and three. How's that sound? Plug in zero. I'm gonna get negative eight. I can do that. Plug in one. If I plug a one right there, that's three halves plus one, which would be two and a half. And then two and a half minus eight is negative five and a half. <clears throat> then I plug in two. <clears throat> if I plug in two there, one of those cancels with one of those leaving six. Six plus two is eight, minus eight is zero. I can do that. And then uno mas, let me plug in zero, no, three. Three, that's nine, 27 over two is 23 and a half. 23 and a half plus three is 26 and a half. 26 and a half minus eight. 26 and a half minus eight, is that 16 and a half? I think it's 16 and a half. <clears throat> let me graph those points. Zero, negative eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, negative five and a half. One, two, three, four, five and a half. Two, zero. Three, 16 and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50. Wow, that's way up there. That's crazy. Can I graph that? It's a problem. I just know there's a problem because X squared. So I kind of draw a parabola. So that would be the graph. Now verify. They want us to prove that a prime of x equals f of x. So they want a prime of x. Well, this is a of x, right? We just take the derivative of that. I can do that. 3 over 2 is a constant. I bring the 2 in front. So it's going to be 2x plus, and the derivative of that's one. So it's gonna be plus one. And the derivative of a negative eight is zero. So my a prime of x is three x plus one. And if you look, that matches that. Bingo, we've done it. <laughs>